Those filthy humans! How dare they try to steal my egg! I can't believe all it took for them to enter my cavern and steal it was just me leaving for a day. There was an age where they wouldn't even dare enter the forest for fear of awakening me. Maybe they need to remember the wrath of a dragon. I can't even sense my egg. Those thieves must have found a way to hide its presence from me. I know it's in that town over there, but I just can't come and burn everything to ashes. It could destroy my egg. And I also wouldn't want to hurt innocent people. I could threaten the whole town and say I will reduce it to ashes if the thieves don't give me back my egg, but I'm sure trash like them wouldn't even care. They would probably flee, hoping that I would be too occupied to burn the town to notice them. I guess I will need to act in a more steel... Uh, who's there? I asked a question, and you don't want to make me repeat myself. If I don't have a response in the next five seconds, I will incinerate you without any hesitation. I'm not in the mood, so don't try me. <laughs> a human. Of all the things, it had to be a human. I'm really not in the mood to see one of your kind right now, so turn back before something bad happens to you. Oh, look at this. You're still getting closer. I guess the rumor that my egg was stolen must have spread. I bet you must be thinking that since someone managed to steal from me, it means I must be weak. You must be imagining that you will slay me and then bathe in gold. <laughs> well, sorry to disappoint, but I'm everything but weak. So, you better use those legs to run away before I turn you into charcoal. Oh, still coming my way. <laughs> I guess some of you humans forgot why dragons are so feared. Well, allow me to help you remember. You're going to regret ever coming here. My baby. That's my baby. Human, why do you have my egg? Are you with the one who stole my egg? Well, I don't care. I'm ready to give you all the treasures you want. As long as I get my egg back. I'm sure that's why you're here. N no Then why are you here? <laughs> sure, I'll believe you. I know that everything has a price in this world. Do you really expect me to believe you're here to give me back my egg without asking anything in return? What are you doing? Don't do anything rash. I could turn you to cold before you could even blink. <gasps> My baby! Even if you've put it on the ground, I still don't believe you. So what if you took some steps back? I've lived long enough to know that humans can be tricksters. I'm going to grab my egg, and you won't make a single movement. If you do anything, you can guess what will happen. Oh, my baby. My sweet, sweet baby. You're safe now. What's with that smile? <sighs> now that my egg is secure, you don't have any way to bargain. I could roast you immediately, so you better tell me where the rest of your companions who stole my egg are. What? Do you really expect me to believe that? 
If you're not with them, then who are you? Just a wondering swords, master. <laughs> well, would you be so kind as to explain to me how this wandering swords, master, got into possession of my egg? Yes, I could have guessed that you heard the rumors. So what? So it was freaking human nobles who ordered people to come steal my f mm, my egg. I should have guessed it. Your nobles are always bastards with strange tastes. Well, at least it's nice to be able to put a name on those bastards. Now I know I have a manner or two to burn off. Not much left. What happened? <laughs> oh, please tell me you're joking. So you, a human who has nothing to do with me, just went to get my egg and absolutely destroyed everything on your way. Well, even if an oracle had told me that, I would have never believed it. I guess after wrecking havoc there, you came here. Is that right? It's nice, but it still doesn't answer a question. Why did you do it? Did you think that you would get a reward if you brought my egg back? No. Then why? The right thing to do. You just wanted to bring a child back to its mother? <laughs> it's such a simple reason, but a strange one to be applied to a dragon. Usually humans see us as either monsters or gods. But you just saw a mother and her child. Thank you. I sincerely thank you for bringing my baby back home. At the back of my cavern, there is a, all my hoard. A hoard that has been accumulated for five centuries. You may choose whatever you want. You can take as much gold as you want. All the jewels in it can be yours. You can even take clothes made by the finest masters in all the land. It's your reward. What? Really, are you sure? I'm offering to you the dream that many creatures have had since the birth of dragons. Being able to see a dragon's hoard is already an honor, but being able to take things without being killed is nothing short of a miracle. And you are declining it. Are you sure? Hmm, so you really aren't interested. You are a peculiar human. Of course, I can reward you in another way. F food? You have the chance to get a lot of riches and you ask for food. You what? It's not surprising that you're hungry. Who in their right mind would walk four days straight without sleeping or eating, especially carrying something as big as a dragon egg? You really wanted to give me back my egg as soon as possible? Ah, <laughs> oh, silly human. You are way too kind. But thank you. Follow me to the back. I have my food reserved there. Do you like bear meat? 
<laughs> you seem to have good taste. Now, how do you like it? Rare, medium, well done. Okay, right away. Now, let me add some spices. Oh, of course I have spices. I'm a dragon who enjoys cooking. I have a reserve of spices coming from all over the world. I will make you discover a new world of wonder with them. Now, here's for you. Be careful, it's still hot. Just let it rest on this golden plate for the moment. Now, tell me. The human waste who ordered for my eggs to be stolen. Are they alive? Yes. <laughs> well, not for long. Of course. Cowards like them would have fled the town after what you did. Do you know where they fled to? <laughs> oh, what a mistake. I didn't want to involve innocent people, but look at them. Fleeing to a place where there isn't anyone around. Oh, they're going to regret it a lot. I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm sure those nobles must have their own little army too. It's going to be a nice barbecue. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean, not too much left to do? Most of the army is splashed on the ruins of the manor. You know, I only realized it now, but you must be pretty strong if you were able to destroy a noble's manor with his army protecting it and leaving without a wound. I guess you didn't earn your title of swords master by luck. That makes me want to see you use that blade. Care to show me one day? I can't wait. Sure. You can ask a question. Are you maybe regretting not asking for treasures? <laughs> Go on, ask. I asked you so many questions. It's my turn to answer some. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just finding it cute. I guess you don't have much knowledge about dragons. This little egg doesn't have a father. You see, we dragon women lay eggs, but they don't really have life inside them yet. There won't be a dragon that comes out of this egg. That's a misconception that a lot of people believe. Rather than that inside, it's more like they are a part of ourselves. Our mana. After a year... It will break, and the mana inside will return to us and give us more strength, longevity, and better skills. And when I say better skills, I really mean it. Look at those. It's okay. You don't have to be embarrassed. It wasn't a dumb question. Oh, I can also answer that. I called it my baby, but it's just that we feel a strong attachment to our eggs. Our maternal instincts wake up and awake as long as we have them. So that's why I called it to that. I hope that answered your question. So, how is your food? I'm happy to hear that. Yes, I didn't want to involve innocent people. That's why I didn't come to this town. With my size, I would have been noticed if I tried being sneaky. And I could have hurt innocent people with how small the town is for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's another misconception about us dragons. Yes, I could have turned into a human and infiltrated the town, but that wouldn't have been ideal at all. 
It's really uncomfortable to stay in human form, and it is really unstable. I would probably have turned back in the middle of the town after an hour. Oh yes, it's not comfortable at all. I'm sure you must think that with all of our mana, it should be possible. But that's exactly one of the reasons why we can't keep that for long. To start, look at me. I'm an imposing dragon. Now, imagine that you must squeeze all that height and mass into a human body. The difference is immense. Now think about our mana. Are you knowledgeable about magic circuits? Well, just think of it as many rivers with a lot of paths that connect to them. They need to be able to stay connected and be open to let the water run its course. Well, it's the same thing for mana. Now, circuits are different for each species. Mana circuits for dragons are much more bigger than human ones because they need to be able to contain our mana and run through our whole body. Now, what would happen if I were to take those tiny rivers and pour 20 times the amount they usually have? Yes, it would overflow. Now, what would happen if I were to take a huge river and reduce its width by 20 times without changing the intensity and the quantity of the current? Exactly. The same thing would happen. That's why we don't really like human forms. Also, just imagine walking on four legs for centuries and then having to walk on just two legs. Let's just say that I fell a lot the first time. Yes, we have ways to take on a more human form without being uncomfortable, but that's not one for being stealthy. Oh yeah, not stealthy at all. The big tail, the wings, the eyes, the claws, and the scales don't really look human. But I must say that I look quite beautiful f by your human standards. So, how was your meat? I'm happy. I can give you some spices if you want. It's getting dark out there. You're going to spend the night here. Oh... Oh, mm, I'm sure about that. I'm not going to let the savior of my little baby go walk in the dark. Especially after they spent four days walking straight without sleeping or eating. You are sleeping here. And that's all. Also, you should be happy. Many people dream of sleeping surrounded by so much treasure. <laughs> no need to thank me. You have done so much for me. Oh, it moved. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm sure it was just me walking that made it. It's moving. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's it's moving! I, I'm going to be a mom! Yes, th there is a baby inside. Oh my, I am as surprised as you! Y yes, I, I, I know I said there wasn't anything, but... But there is now. You see, we lay eggs with a part of us inside, and if we want to fertilize it, our partner must inject their mana into it. Like this, we both gave a piece of ourselves, and life is created. But uh, how? I don't have a partner. I is it maybe those thieves? No, no, no. They would have in... They would have needed to keep it stuck to them for it to... Wait. Get 
clothes. Quick! Quick! Oh. It's reacting to you. Uh, how could it... I'm dumb. Of course. You spent four days with it pressed against your back. It must have gotten accustomed to your mana. And it now looks like there is a baby. Well done on becoming a parent. I hope you're ready to raise this child with me, darling. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You should take a look at your face. I don't think you would make a face like this even in front of death. It looks like you saw your future crumble in a single moment. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't ask for you to take care of it. It's not like you knew. But I need you to stay here for a month or two. The quantity of mana you put in the egg was enough to give it the first sign of life. But it won't suffice. You need to put more into it. Don't worry. You don't need to be a mage for that. Every living being has mana. You only need to do what you did for the last four days, staying close to the egg. It will take your mana instinctively, especially now that it's accustomed to yours. Well, I said a month or two, but if you didn't even know that you had mana, it might take a little longer. Aura? No, that won't be able to replace mana. <laughs> Never thought your swords master journey would come to halt because you gave a child to a dragon. Hey, that's pretty nice if you ask me. Bards could sing legends about you. The sword master who became the dragon layer. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Also, wouldn't it be hard for you to go outside after destroying that noble manor? That's what I thought. I bet you must be wanted everywhere. Thank you for accepting to stay. And thank you for helping me become a mother, I guess. <laughs> if that child gets just 1% of your kindness, it would be incredible. I'm so happy. Now, it's time for you to rest and for my baby to get its mana. Let me lay one of my wings on the ground for you. Come on, hop on it. I'm not going to make you sleep on the floor. Now, let me put the egg close to you. It might be a strange demand, but could you please hold it? I would like for this child to feel your embrace and kindness. Our newlings can often feel the emotions around them when they are still in the egg, and it impacts them greatly. So, if possible, I would love it if it could sense your kindness and my love for it. Thank you. Now I can just close my wing a little and bring you close to me. Like this, so you are both in my embrace. Yeah, I guess it's a lot to take in for you, especially after not resting for four days. <laughs> but don't worry, everything is going to be fine. You already know it. Well, I'm happy that you are an optimist like this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's really kind. I'm going to make sure I am the best mother for that child. You know you would be a great parent, too. You went alone against an army to get a child back, so I can't imagine what you would do if it were yours. I'm not joking. You have the kindness that a parent needs. I really 
hope our baby will inherit it. It would be nice if it also had your courage, but I'm not scared about that. Well, let's say that I was also pretty courageous and reckless when I was younger. So, with the both of us, I'm not scared about that. Thank you again for bringing my baby back safely. There isn't a single thing in the world that could reflect how thankful I am. And thank you for this new life. Also, might I know your name? I don't think calling you human or wandering swordmaster is really respectful after everything that happened. What a beautiful name. Me. I am Milera. I'm pleased to meet you. <laughs> now it's really starting to get dark. We should all go to sleep. Especially you. Tell me if you like the temperature now. I can change the temperature of my body so it's comfortable for you. A little warmer? Sure. Is it good now? Good. Have a nice night, my little baby. I wish you the best dream in the world. Have a nice night too, my wonderful savior. I hope you will be able to rest well. But You're jealous that you don't get a kiss too? <laughs> You're so silly. You don't even make it sound believable when you say it. But you still ask for it. Here is a big kiss from a dragon on your little head. <laughs> Hey, be careful when you joke with me. You never know what I will do. That's a lesson for you to learn. Thank you for everything. Have a great night. Hiya, Saki here. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that I was able to bring you some happiness, peace, and comfort. <laughs> If you want to support me on Twitch, feel free to. I stream about every day. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. That would make me really happy. You can also find me on Patreon, Discord, or Twitter. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you guys do for me. I really, really appreciate it. Now, take care. Mwah.